Well hello and welcome back to another weekend vlog. Um, today and this weekend is going to be much the same as, as the other ones. There's going to be a lot of food, um, although Caroline isn't feeling too well. Yeah, Caroline um, has got a really low white blood cell count at the moment which is making her feel very poorly. She also hasn't had a B12. Um, and she took her regular injection yesterday, which makes her feel a bit poorly. So she's still in bed. I'm going to take her some breakfast up in bed for that. Um, but I'm going to cook breakfast for me and Dave. And I need to find out what he wants. Does he want a sandwich? Does he want a breakfast? Dave? Do you want a sausage sandwich or do you want sausage, no hash browns for you, egg, um, fried bread? Yeah? yeah? That? I'll get that made then. I've got my sausages cooking under the grill, um, although I did burn one side already, it left them in a bit too long on one side. Hash browns are going, Caroline's egg is cooking, and my beans, and I've spiced my beans up a little bit with some paprika, garlic, some herbs, some onion, scrambled eggs done, and then fried eggs, and then we'll have some fried bread as well. And then I'll take that up to Caroline, she's just getting a sandwich, and I'll get her a coffee and her meds. There's your breakfast of champions, babe. An egg sandwich, your pills, and a nice little coffee for you. It's two eggs in that sandwich, because one egg only filled half of it, because the bread's really big. That wouldn't matter, I want to just put one half in. You enjoy it. Did, you, did you pop the yolk? No, it's oh, all gooey no, for you. No, you meant to pop the yolk and spread it over? Oh, I've done it wrong then. Yeah. And my breakfast is done. It's always difficult to time it, but I've got scrambled egg, fried egg, my spicy beans, hash browns, maple and smoked bacon sausages, which um, I left a little bit too long on one side, but I also think the maple syrup's made them a bit black. So fried bread and some orange juice, and that's mine. So I'm gonna tuck in and get this eaten while it's hot. That's breakfast done. I just about managed to eat it all, but I left one sausage. It was the maple syrup that made it a bit more cremated. Delicious breakfast. Now I don't know what to do with myself. Waiting for a couple of deliveries from Hermes. See if they actually turn up. I'll just throw them over the house or something. State of my hair. It's far too long. Look at that. That is ridiculous. Needs a cut, and I'm not letting Caroline or Dave loose on my hair. I'll just keep growing it and keep growing it. Grow myself a mullet or something. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen today. Caroline's going to probably stay in bed. Um, I might do some hoovering. That's what I do, really. Um, but if anything fun happens, I'll I'll come back and show you. And I'll show you when the deliveries come as well, if they come. The cakes have arrived. Chocolate flapjack, Smarty Tiffin, Oreo Crunch, Vanilla Cheesecake, Battenberg Cheesecake, Jammy Dungeon Blondie, Old School Cake, Rocky Road, and an orange brownie. And I'll be tucking into them over this weekend. Well, the Hermes deliveries come. There's the Boohoo stuff, and yeah, they they really look after this box, these boxes, don't they? When they deliver, I'll show you what's in there. So the first thing we got was the next pin in the Disney Castle collection, which is the Frozen pin, Frozen Castle, Arendelle. And I'm keeping them all nicely wrapped up until I've got the whole collection. And then we've also got the Christmas tree ornament. Which is, I'll show you this one. And there it is. It looks pretty sweet. So we've now got the first two in the collection. And also because, um, well, I just had to, didn't I? Dave? Yes. Stitch! <laughs> <sighs> How cute a stitch! Oh, you can sit there. You get yourself all comfortable, mate. There you go. You stay there. That's the Disney stuff. And then we've got the Boohoo Man stuff, which I'll open this bag and come back to you. So the first thing I've got from Boohoo Man is this face covering, which is pretty cool. Quite like this. It actually feels quite comfortable. So I've got also got the, I've also got this T-shirt, which I quite like. Like all the like scratched marble. That's pretty cool. One more to go. And here's the second t-shirt. 
Hey Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey Mickey. Um, two different sizes. This one's an XL, the other one's an XXL. Mm. They'll do, they'll do. Also got a present for Dave as well. So Dave, this is an early Father's Day present for you. What do you think? Fits his like a glove. Mm -hmm. You look very sexy, Dave. Thank you very much. So that's everything delivered um, that I ordered from Disney and Boohoo Man. We've also got some chlorine coming, um, but the weather is absolutely miserable, so I can't sort out the hot tub today. But the chlorine's ready for when we can go in the hot tub, when we get a little bit of sunshine, which will probably be when I'm at work, you know. So one of the t-shirts from Boohoo doesn't doesn't fit. I got two, I got the same t-shirt in two different sizes. So I'm going to take it back to the parcel shop. Might as well do it today. And normally I drive because I'm a lazy twat. Um, but I said to Dave, do you fancy going for a walk? So we're going to have a walk down a couple of miles. Why not? The weather's delightful, isn't it? It'll keep her cool on the walk though, Dave. It will, yes. We've got a free fight. <laughs> oh, there's a shopping trolley down there. I know. Somebody didn't want to pay for a taxi. I have made it to the shop, so I'm going to drop this off and then we'll head back. That's the shop done. I like small shops, they're easier. I also got some crap, some crisps, some energy drink for Caroline, and a, a Twix, a salted caramel Twix. Give that a try. Now we're going to head back, and I'm a sweaty mess. I don't know about you, Dave. I am sweat. Sweating our chops off. And we're almost home. I've had to take my hat off because just sweating like mad. I'm so unfit and out of sorts. What about you, Dave? I'm unfit. I'm sweating. Yep. I need a drink. Yeah, bourbon. Yes. Yeah, let's have a have a drink when we get in. I need to get out and exercise more and walk more. The problem with me is I'm lazy and I need a purpose. I had a purpose to go. I had a reason to go for a walk there, but just going for a walk, no. And I can't even go for a walk to a pub and have a beer at the end. <laughs> Yet. Yet. Good morning, afternoon, everyone. I've just gotten up. What time is it? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Three o'clock. I could just go with, I could just do with going back I got to these bed. in the shop. Yeah, I've tried some already. And you weren't keen? They're just a strange thing. They smell weird. And they're just a strange... I mean, it could be with, you know, my taste buds aren't great, but it could be with the way I feel as well. They smell like sweaty arse crack. They smell weird. I couldn't just, I can't describe it. Oh, my eyes are watering again. I can't describe the taste of them, but it's not chili. It's not what I expect from a chili. Not even a Lassaguana's veggie one. These are vegetarian, by the way. Yeah. Um, Let's look. The taste. Yeah, like steaky. They heat a steak rather you, than chili. Do you know McCoy's... But they, do, they really smell like my arse crack on a bad day. Do you know... Do you know McCoy's chilies? You know yeah, McCoy's... Do. you know the McCoy's chili ones? I thought they were like a weird concoction no, of those. No, the McCoy's sizzling like Mexican chili con carne are, 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 are lovely. I thought they were like a, a hint of that with mixed with something else. Arse crack as well, well done. They smell like arse crack. Yeah. What do they, they smell, smell like? like my arse crack, Dave. Go on, have a sniff. <laughs> <laughs> what do they smell like, Dad, to you? Just a chop and sniff. Not... Like steak. No, but the smell no of chili. them. What's the smell of them like? Smell all right. Don't smell like butt crack. No. They do that. Oh, how are these? 
Not Sean, back on that. Like steak, but you don't Sean, show. Sean, and you've just dropped it over there as well. I don't know where it went. That's his He's just dropped some on the... Oh, there it is, Sean. Pick it yeah. up. That's his Come on. We don't the dog want, will get it. The dog won't get it. Oh, 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 Nelly called you Harley. Oh, God. I think we're going to, Larry. No, the dog won't get it. No. Want some? Oh, it's not crying again. Want some? See, when I'm quiet, I cry even more. No, I don't want flapjack in all. Further you get down, and you've got to Look how rosy your cheeks are. Uh, Could be through the drink. <laughs> well, you went out for a walk with Sean, didn't you? Quite a lot further yeah, than what you normally would. On yesterday, I didn't. When Gary came, so. They said I was red there's no, the there's no there's only heat. a couple of miles, Caroline. There's no heat none. Yeah, well, Dad's got atrial fibrillation a couple of miles. Is it's quite long, you know. Cheers to Chum now. Eat. You look like a hamster. Or a guinea pig full of, with full pouches. Just thought I'd show you, during the week, um, we had a couple of visitors. So my sister and brother-in-law and nephew, Caroline's nephew as well, came. Um, that would be and our nephew. Our nephew, yes, Caroline, um, came and gave us this present, which is, it, it, it made my heart swell and it made Caroline cry, because Oscar was always a little bit frightened of Harley, so he, we never got this picture as he started getting a little bit older, so it's a beautiful picture. But at the last visit, before everything went south, he actually he was stroking him and stuff. He was stroking him and he lay beside him and it was good because Oscar's frightened us. I'm sorry, I'm not very well and I've been crying again and I'm just a... I'm just a bit of a mess at the minute. Um, so the sentiment behind it was we never got a photograph and the photograph was taken. So I'm off again. Oh, my dad's looking at us. I'm not well. Just... Drink your beer. Um, and we also got this off Matt and Natalie. Which is very nice. Thank you. Anyway, how's your cake, Dave? You eating the rocky road? Lovely. That's not a cake. That's cake. It's yeah, lovely. It's lovely. Hello. Lovely jubbly. Keep me good. Mhm. What have we got, Sean? Some baked what's it? Sizzling steak flavour. What's your thoughts? Cheesy steak. Do they not remind you of Monster Munch? Beef. Yes. Dad. You've just had one, what was your thoughts on it? No. Space Raiders beef. I don't remember Space Raiders beef. Space Raiders beef. Smells in your mouth. Yep. Yeah. But did it taste like Monster Munch beef? Did it make can't, you think about... You can't, can't remember, remember them. You just had one not long ago. We're just watching some vlogs. We just watched a video that I never knew I needed to watch about Disney nipples. <laughs> Disney did, Dan, go and search for it. Did you get a nipple on? No. <laughs> but he had a nipple on the whole way through, which I found quite ironic. Now we're watching Cory Meets World, live at SeaWorld. Oh yeah, we don't have the sound on because we don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> Anything else to say? Are you eating all them? Do they melt in your mouth like Dad said? They did for me. <laughs> Sean, do you want a bit of my steak? Taste test. This is Sean. <laughs> he would have took it as well. So Sean got. Baptized his tonsils. Baptized his tonsils. That's a good one. Sean got Twix salted caramel. What's your thoughts? Too close. I prefer a normal Twix, it's not that much different. Okay, I'll, I tr I'll try. I don't like eating a Twix like this, I like eating a Twix like that if I was to have it. You animal! Well, because I like caramel, I don't like the biscuit bit. Animal! I just shove it over my dad's face. That's salty. Salty at the end. Oh my goodness, at the end. Very salty. Oh. 
Du har faktisk godt bedt Tom Kassel. Nice. Pool within a pool update. King Dave emptied the pool within a pool. And over the last few days, the weather's been so bad that it's worse than what it was. And I think it's going to get just as bad tonight. Would you rain? <clears throat> it's time for some Yaz and Scott on Flight of Passage before, well... Well, the cages were fantastic. What a brilliant set. Um, that was the final set that they're doing from, for lockdown, and it was just brilliant. We absolutely love Yaz and Scott, and Millie, same Millie, was brilliant. We watched Millie's other band a couple of weeks ago on Facebook, and that was really, really good as well. Go and check out the cages. If you're ever in Spain, on the Costa Blanca, go and check them out in a bar. They are fantastic. Um, we've now watched a couple of vlogs, but it's time to get ready for discussions. Go and subscribe to Discussions if you haven't already. I'll pop a link down to the channel below. Um, but I'm going to get in, in with that now. Um, and Caroline and Dave are going to pop upstairs and give it a watch. Maybe come in with a few questions. But after that, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, excuse the mess of us. I'm not very well, as Sean's already told you. And I was saying earlier on, um, I'm in bed ready to watch Discussions, just waiting for Dad. Um, I haven't been feeling well for a while. And I've just been getting on with it, um, but it's getting worse. I had to have some bloods done the other day um, for hospital. Um, to ha sorry, brain's just all over. Um, to have some, yeah, sorry, I had to have some bloods done in order to be reissued with some important medication that basically keeps me going. Um, if my bloods aren't right, there's the possibility that they'll be withdrawn. I had the doctor ring me yesterday after having the bloods done, which was the first time I've been out properly with other people. But there wasn't many, it was just the doctor's surgery and I wasn't really in contact with him apart from the nurse who was in full PPE. And my bloods are irregular. Um, all my white blood cells are too low and if they go any lower, it's, more, it's critical. So I've been a bit for days. Yeah. I'm just updating the vlog for Sean. I'm just telling him that you're coming. I don't know where you are, I can't see you right now. What? I'm just updating the vlog for Sean. Um I'm here? You're here. He's there. He's there. I, f I asked you to bring my water up, but I don't I'm know if you heard I don't know if you heard us to bring the water up. I just well, like up water? downstairs. I'm just saying that downstairs where uh, in the kitchen, it should be. It? Yeah, uh, it's filled and it's there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. See you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> so, um, yeah. What was I saying? So yes, uh, white blood cells are all low. Um, if they go any low, any lower, it will be a critical situation. And I may not be allowed to have my meds, which being on the meds has really helped in a lot of ways. I haven't had. It should be there unless Sean's took it into the sitting room. Sorry, the lounge. I don't know. Um, sorry. Um, well, I didn't bring it up here for us. Um. So yeah, um, I don't really want it to lose my meds because I haven't had ulcers in a few weeks. Which has been absolutely amazing. But anyway, we're going to watch discussions now. Me and King Dave, Daddy Dearest. <laughs> um, watching discussions. 
Gary and Dawn, it would be souls growing hate. All that money's going for Lana and they're not be able to get in the park. Right, I'm, I'm going to move on from yep. that a little bit. Soul um, destroy it. I'm just going to get a double chin. I have no double chin. Nobody has more than a chin, is it? Leave me alone. Do you want to get my baby? <laughs> That's like Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Little Miss Piggy and Mr. Harry. Harry. That's not funny, Sean. Sure. <laughs> Yay, I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> Tomato and Natalie, I've finished the discussion. I've come to bed, but they, they won't leave us alone. Have you come to bed with you too? Um, good morning. It is Sunday. And... I've just come back to bed. It's actually eleven or two. We didn't get up until tenish. I've been up, up and down all night. Um, with not being very well. Sean, is that the little boy's room? Mm -hmm. Sean, what have you got planned today? What? What have you got planned today? You can't hear us. I can't hear you. I've got a hoover. Uh huh. I've got to remove the pool from the pool. Uh huh. And I've got to um, sort out lunch, which we'll get from Black Friday. Okay, anything else? No, I'm wiping my bum. I don't really need to know that. So, as Sean said, he's um, he's got a hoover. I might get him to also cart, cart a steam clean the floors. Um, and then he's going to do the pool within a pool, but we'll see if he does that. That's what Dad did last week instead of him. But it's back because the weather's so bad. <coughs> Sorry, I don't have COVID. Um, and yeah, um, we've got Sunday lunch coming, which is from Blackfriars. So we'll show you that all soon. And it's going to be just another quiet day. In the house, probably watching television and stuff as well, because there's not much going on here in Shielding, and the weather's too bad to go out. I think, unless they go for another walk. Morning. Good morning. Can a man not go to the toilet in peace? And in, like... in peace. In peace. In peace. Can you go to the toilet in peace? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. I better get hoovering. I'm saying that I might get you to cosh a steam clean too. Nah. <coughs> Dad, what oh. have you done? Eh? What have you done? Emptied the water. <laughs> so you've emptied I the... I came down to do it and this one's already done it. You can't leave anything for me to do. <laughs> do the hoover in all day. No, I'm going to... stuck your bed so you can do the hoover Right. We're doing roast potatoes. Um, can roast someone potatoes. help me have a, a wash and stuff? Yeah, between one and two. Oh, wow. So the pool within the pool has perished? Yeah. change. Keep up the good work. You're struggling already. Oh. What are you doing? Scrape me off. Our drawers are currently situated in Dad's room. Uh, what? Are you enjoying your hoovering? No. Vacuuming? Can't hear us, but no. What you doing? Cleaning the floor. Hard it be. Bloody Nora! Well that's the cleaning done, our Sunday lunch has arrived. Dave's just finishing these extra roasties because who doesn't need extra roasties, Davey? I do. Yeah. We've got some garlic in there as well. We've got some beers. Have a look. 
pine peel. The Hasthopf. And Ada Loga. So that's the, the three beers. We've got two of them each. Roasties. And then we've got with food. Um, champagne strawberries, chocolate mousse, ham terrine. There's oysters in here. There's Yorkshire pudding and roasties and all sorts. I'll show you that once we've dished it out because I can't wait. Can you? No. No. I'm hungry. I need a drink, Dave. As well. I'm starting with a ham terrine and pick a lily. And Dave's starting with a lobster and prawn cocktail. Really nice. Seriously. Lobstery prawny fishy? Yeah. It is. <laughs> yes, it's fishy. My ham terrine was delicious. Caroline's got oysters all nicely iced up. They look like snot. Like bogies. I always forget what this vinaigrette's called. Can you remember? No. Can you open it for us, please? Oh, I might have should have got some salt and pepper as well. And some tobacco. Ooh, Tabasco. But he didn't bring Tabasco, he brought this instead. Cholula! I'll see what this is like with it. It's just Tabasco, really, Cholula. It's not thicker than Tabasco, Sean. It's too thick for his face. Go on, suck it down. Mm. Very nice. We'll just wait for the mains to warm up and then I'll have them. But you're not having a main, just oysters for you. And here's the lunch, ox cheek and trimmings, and we've added some extra garlics and roast potatoes. But yeah, mmm, cauliflower cheese. Look forward to this. Got plenty of potatoes, got mash as well. <laughs> Should have brought myself a knife. Epic fail. Okay, some ox cheek. Let's try this. Oh, that's so good. So good. Go If you're ever in Newcastle, go to Blackfriars Restaurant because it's an amazing restaurant. They do delicious food and this is just the Sunday lunch because they can't open right now. I'd highly recommend that place. And it's a, you can get a good deal as well. The Sunday lunch, three courses, £21. Bargain. I'll show you the pudding in a minute. Well that food was absolutely delicious and then I went to give Caroline a hug and a cuddle but she's really not feeling very well and fell asleep for three and a half hours with her. Um, so now it's dessert time. Champagne strawberries. Mm. And then might as well have tea because it's tea time now. I'm going to give this beer a try which is the Adal Lager from Allendale if it focuses camera. There we go. Give it a go. That's quite nice. That's quite nice. How's your sausage roll, Dave? Lovely. Delicious. These are the sausage rolls that we also got from Blackfriars. That's steak sauce dip if you're interested. But these are absolutely delicious. As good as last time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and look how cool that is. We're now in bed. Sorry for the nakedness. That's the weekend. We're now going to watch a bit of Jason Manford Middle Class, so you can hear in the background. <coughs> well, I'm munching on popcorn, and Caroline's got some skips. I had skips. Yeah. Um, but thanks for staying along uh, and watching this video with us. If you've kept. Oh. What I think he was trying to say it was. Thank you for joining over this weekend, even though one of us has not been very well. We well, hope you've enjoyed the video, and we'll be back next week with another one. So keep making memories. Catch you later. <laughs> the